Okay, well, I'm kind of beaming with happiness and excitement here. Um, didn't think we'd see the day for quite a while yet still, but here we have a new collection, a new project of tunes from Ian Slider himself, Space Laces the Boy, uh, second EP ever, and second EP on Never Say Die. Uh, to my knowledge, these are all tunes that... Um, are featured in part on various voltage mixes of his that of course we've got over the last few years or so and very much looking forward to see how they're just fleshed out basically e um <laughs> how they're fleshed out how they're developed how they're you know you know if they're the, the clips we've got are second drops or first drops and what's going to come after that with each clip, the introductions and outros that come with them, the extra stuff, basically. Um, and also just how they develop in in the, the kind of format of a project and how they make sense alongside one another. The guy's got so many IDs, as we all know, and he's gone for this collection to start this new... I think what will be a new succession of projects that are coming out from him. This one has actually got my favourite ID of his of all time, not bees with watch, um, E, which is incredible. Okay, here we go. Fuck. A new Space Laser ZP. Get in the zone, Connor. Come on. Kicking off here with Droid. All right. Space Laser's high voltage new EP. Let's go. Oh, that one. That one. Okay. I know which one this is, boy. Oh, it's not that one. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I love this bit in Voltage 3 so much. Okay. Oh, those little lasers in the background. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm almost getting up here. I know it's a simple idea. I know it sounds simple. I know it sounds stripped back. I know it's not your heavy mind melting shit, but the way that is made, you have to understand. You have to understand how perfect that is. The way that's executed. The flow of it, the collection of sounds, oh, the design. I'm fucked. I'm, I'm, I'm done already. Mm. 
You know. Oh no. You know what it means, no. Um I stopped it a bit prematurely there. I think I'm gonna have to I have to remember that he's got those little <clears throat> those little snippets at the end, the little meme bits at the end, so I'm gonna have to be on it with my with my pausing so the next tune doesn't come in. Okay. Sorry, I know I know I ruined it. I know I ruined it, but I'm learning. We're all learning creatures, you know. Life is a learning experience. Just um deal with it. Yeah, it was a good tune. It's a nice tune. It's it is um it is just that snippet fleshed out in a good way, a neat, tidy way. Um I could have I think the introduction could have been a bit longer. I think I would have appreciated the introduction being just a bit more drawn out, had a bit more beef to it, just to introduce the um, the EP in a bit of a grander way, just fleshed that out and made that a bit more impressive, um, if you know what I mean. I think it rushes into the, the heaviness quite quickly, but the heaviness, I mean, that is another one of my favourite IDs from him. And uh, in the uh, when, you, when we get it in Voltage 3... It goes from the bear, 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 straight into the bum, 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 the little bubbly bit underneath. Um, but here, he's drawn out that first bit and then gone into the the more bubbly underground bit, just a, a little bit more delayed. It comes in a little bit later, which I think is cleverly done. Uh, the midsection was good, I think, provided a nice little moment of respite, even though again it was quite quick, like the introduction. And the second drop, I mean. That is one of the cheekiest little breakdowns I think I've ever heard. Again, you know, like I said earlier, it's quite stripped back. There's not a lot going on. If you're all about your heavy headbanger shit, you're not gonna. You're probably not gonna enjoy it. But if you can, uh, if you want for appreciating design, um, arrangement, the way that something is made and fleshed out, just the perfect flow. Oh, the the spacing out of. Uh, the drums and all the percussion there was pinpoint so good and I think it was a very nice development on that first drop enjoyed it quite a bit so a nice neat little number again could have been a bit longer could have had a little bit more to it been fleshed out just that little bit more but it is a it is yes T Slurper a nice well packaged neat little cut to kick us off here but moving on we have Run DLL another one that many people were looking forward to hearing in full, and we have it right here. How lucky are we? Let's go. Oh, this one, this one. It's really interesting just to say here, like which ones he, which IDs he thinks work better for an EP and which ones could potentially work better for an album. Like for example, the beginning of Voltage One, that boom dum wap, boom dum wap, that that could be an amazing introduction to an album. Just saying. So it's interesting just hearing how he differentiate how he differentiates different IDs potentially for different projects. I don't know. Let's keep going. Enjoying so far. Again, just good bass tunage. Get, get 
Bone tap, but it's facts. <laughs> Relax. This is state of the art equipment. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Um funny. Um yes, um again, a neat, cheeky little number. Not that much to it, but um if you if you're one for like if you're one of those like sound design wet dream kind of people and just marveling over particular sounds and how they're made and fleshed out then um yeah it's another one from him that you're going to love uh not the most amazing idea of his but it's nice just um the way that it's continually kind of refashioned over the tune uh different placements of sounds here and there and uh, just keeping it keeping it interesting and engaging over the course of it. So far, I mean, it's just two, you know, pretty short, brief, short-lived kind of kind of tunes we've got here. Um, I'm kind of getting the impression that it's not going to be one for giving us the the character of an overdrive, if you know what I mean. It's more like a just a simple collection of tunes that we're getting here to kind of tide over from him, uh, which is fine, all fine. You know, they're good tunes. Um, just yeah, not not I, I suppose not looking to make a statement perhaps with this EP, just like getting these ones done, getting them out there, kind of thing, which again is fine. Um, but you know we've got three more to go, and this one is is kind of what it's almost one second in, like half a second in. So I'm gonna wind it back to the very 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 beginning. My favorite idea of his, not bees, and it's three and a half minutes long, and it's a house cut, and I'm just. I'm just so gassed, people. You have no idea. Bees nuts. Bees nuts. Clip that bitch. I'm gonna cry. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> Get fucked, bro. Get fucked, bro. <sighs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> It's like if I'm on the microphone, yeah? Pretend I'm on the microphone, I'm the MC.
a new bit. I'm dead. I'm dead. <clears throat> Man's deceased. Con <laughs> sus. I mean, you know I'm deleting that, but I'll put it up on Twitter. Don't worry. Don't you worry, mate. This song is killing me, bro. This bit is unbelievable. us all to the world of rap music you know what's interesting about that one it, it caught me off guard because he's done that thing again he's done that thing again where he has uh chopped up what you get in the the little voltage snippet and put them in different parts of the tune so usually it was going from to that that following bit in voltage one where it gets a bit more lead and it gets a bit more dizzying like do -do 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 but he's kept the first bit in the first drop and he's kept the second bit to the second drop love the introduction the build oh my god the build that's one of my favorite like voltage parts ever the build into that the way that it just slowly spirals out of control then the vocal that comes with it the drop was, I mean, you saw what happened to me. I, it just absolutely fucked me. Like I was like, it's just, it, it's just what, what I wanted from that track and more. It kind of has a little midway point as well. And then there were little changes to the second drop. I can't quite remember. I was getting too lost in it. But again, it had that little bit from the, uh, the second half of the voltage clip. Voltage one. And mate, I'm just living. I'm just living with this tune. My definite favourite so far. A bit of bias, of course, going into it because I love the ID so much, but my gosh, <clears throat> that is exactly, that is my kind of top tunage right there. Perfect beat, perfect production, the kind of the radiance of all those sounds, how vibrant the track is from start to finish. It had that outro bit as well, that I mean, fuck me. But I'm not going to lie, the more I hear this EP, the more it is feeling, yeah, again, just like a collection of tracks, which again is not a bad thing, but it makes me think that there's more to come. It makes me think that it's just a, a thing of tiding over before something else. I'm just saying. I'm literally, I'm literally just saying. Let's carry on, shall we? Splinters, track number four, here we go. Gonna be, it's gonna get a bit more reflective, melancholic. I remember this one.
<clears throat> picks up here. Yep. Where's it gonna go from here? E. Burp. E. This is quite beautiful, isn't it? Cristiano Ronaldo celebration at the new camp. No, to be fair, <clears throat> I should have whipped out. I should have whipped out the Sioux for. Uh, I should have whipped that out for not bees, but I was too busy getting lost in it. <clears throat> and then we get that little bit at the end there doodle -doom, doodle -doom, doodle -doom, doodle -doom, that rounds off voltage 3 of course yeah beautiful tune A little snippet at the end no fair enough I mean the biggest ones to come the final one the closer disco bloodbath but <clears throat> I think that's going to go down um as one of the more memorable uh, Space Laces tunes going forward, I think. Um, I think tunes like that are just very important for providing a bit of perspective for an artist's discography, but also just within a scene overall, just to be like, look, I know these guys make very heavy electronic music, but they can also make you know stuff that's very somber, reflective, melancholic, <coughs> excuse me, melancholic, and that puts that puts the whole kind of need for overly heavy stuff into perspective, you know, and reminds us that, you know, there is an avenue for that, especially when it comes to a bass kind of format where those kind of tunes are essential for just ensuring something transitions in a smooth way, provides little moments of respite here and there. And we're getting that on an EP, which is cool. Appreciating that. Um, yeah, it's a nice tune. I think there was a little bit of scope for, um, I think the the second drop for me feeling just a little bit stop start. Like there were moments where I was like wanting to feel the flow of it and get into it just that little bit more, but it kept cutting off those main sounds. But that could be something that I get used to more as I hear it more. 
I don't know. Because the tune overall and the EP overall is absolutely one I'm going to be going back to quite a lot. So it could just be a thing of hearing that again and getting used to it. But yeah, for me, that first listen, that second drop, probably my least favourite bit so far. Just felt like it, it had to... The, the, the flow had to be kept up at that point and it just... I, I appreciate him changing it. I appreciate him changing it up and switching up. You kind of got to do that, but... Um, yeah, I, I think there was a part of me that just felt like it, I felt a bit stuck listening to it. Beyond that, it's a, it's a cry banger, for sure. And it comes at the perfect point in the EP as the penultimate tune. Um, yeah, just melodically beautiful. The whole midsection, my God, how haven't I talked about that yet? That was stunning. Felt quite outer-worldly. Intergalactic vibes. Like I'd been catapulted into outer space and I was just living in the, the Milky Way. It was beautiful, uh, very um, very uh, purpley in colour, you know, had a very purple vibe to it. Um, but yeah, transitioning, seamless, beautiful throughout the whole thing, and just a lovely tune. Yes, we, uh, we have the final cut here, like I said, uh, one of the most famed, renowned Space Laces IDs of all time. It's finally here in its full form, and we're going to check it out. Disco Bloodbath. <clears throat> Getting the shivers already, bro. Isolated like that. That is so fresh. So beautiful. To those of you who are easily frightened, we suggest you turn away now. To those of you who think you can take it, we say welcome to the madhouse. Fucking a billion for 
Ayo, ayo. Still 20 seconds, well, 30 seconds. It's going to fade out. <clears throat> One last little thing. Yeah, it was good. That was a nice little tune. Um, that is, uh, I mean, the, the drop is just beautiful. Um, I think I think I prefer the second one. I think I prefer the new stuff to the the the, the what we knew already, if you will. Um, the first half, I've always that that drop. I've always found it a little bit like there could be something else in there, like those stops. There are a few gaps that could be filled in there, um, just to keep it ticking along that bit more. Not quite stop start because the housey beat gives it that flow and that upbeat feel but <clears throat> the second half has just got a lot more going on and it feels more fleshed out um and i just feel yeah like it's a bit more it's a bit easier to get into just a little bit easy to get into with a bit more going on still both very very good don't get me wrong the core idea the foundation of this tune so on point um all about it do 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 it's just so good so infectious like my guy can craft a tune do you know what i mean like it's just the perfect mix of heaviness and musicality and catchiness production he's just got it on lock and there are bits that are again in this track better than others but the way it ties together the way it transitions i you know actually one little thing that i've just remembered i think the transition into the second drop could have been just a little bit, uh, had a little bit more grandeur to it, just built up a little bit more leading into that second drop for the final drop on the track and the EP, lest we forget. But still, um, still sick. The ideas are sick. Introduction, beautiful. Loved the way <clears throat> he um, uh, brought this track in. Um, kind of like a deconstruction of what we knew it for beforehand. And um, yeah. The longest cut as well, I think, to my knowledge, was it? Yes, it was. So they kind of, they kind, they get longer as they go on, which is interesting. Usually, you have the the middle one be the longest one, but it's nice that he kind of left the most highly anticipated ID till the end. Um, it's clever. I think that is clever, just making it more exciting as it as it goes on. It's a good EP. I mean, does it feel to me as much like an EP as Overdrive? No, it doesn't. But are the tunes good? Are they very good? Are they exceptional? Absolutely. Um, production, always on point. You know, just, you know, clock the fact and recognise the fact that there wasn't a point here throughout where I was like, oh, that snare didn't quite work or this and that and blah, blah, blah. It's because I don't feel the need to mention it. I always mention it when it's a thing. And the fact that I'm not bringing that up at any point here the fact that I'm not bringing it up here at any point just says it all. Do you know what I mean? So we're talking about exceptional bass music here, multiple genres. Um, again, does it have the stature of an overdrive? Does it knock you out with a, a kind of lineage and a sense of story that is just like, wow, posing itself as something very statement making? I don't think so. Does it feel more like a collection of tunes that's just been not thrown together, but a collection of tunes that is just a result of him feeling like he has to put a collection of tunes out. Maybe just a little bit, but that's completely fine. That's what people want. To me, it's exciting because it feels like a tiding over towards something else. This is him just being like, look, this is a little stopgap. This is what you're going to get. Just a few of these ideas here and there that I have fleshed out. I have, hit, I have made whole tunes and there will be something bigger coming later on. That's just what it's going to be. He's got it in him to make an album, multiple albums. It, it, I, I feel like it just has to happen at some point. But like he's going to want to be like, a little part of him is going to want to be revered and known as the based, the based, the best bass producer and artist of his generation, right? 
Many will say he already is, but for me, until he makes an album, I don't think we can quite call him that. The voltage mixes are amazing, of course, but an album, if he can pull that off, is another thing altogether. That's what separates, like, Nero, for example. This is just, again, it's exceptional music. Is it an EP for the ages? I don't think so. But the tunes themselves are very good. So, that's kind of my, that's my leading thought, having heard it. Um, absolutely love Not Bees. I think the first two could have had a little bit more to them, in terms of just, you know building on the IDs we know them for just a little bit more. What I love about it also is that the tracks get longer as they go on, kind of luring you in more and more, with the most exciting one coming at the end. So there's loads going for it. It just doesn't feel like an EP to me, but that is fine. Ultimately, we have got new Space Latest tunes, IDs we've wanted to hear, fleshed out and made into whole cuts, and we're just going to get more and more of that going forward. It's just going to happen again and again and again. The interesting thing for me is like, is it Voltage 4 next or is it a new project like another one? So it's exciting. Yeah, for me, it just gets better from here, if I'm being honest. So a nice little collection, not like a knockout EP, but it is one that I'm going <clears> to <throat> be going back to a lot. And it could leave more of a kind of impactful mark on me as I do hear it again. As you guys are saying, production, sound design, arrangement, uh, musicality, the ideas themselves, all exceptional. Just such top tier, high quality bass music. And you just don't find it anywhere else, really, to be honest, for the most part.